Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 life hacks that could save your life. We all hope we're never in a situation where we need our lives saving, but whether it's something small like your car breaking down in the middle of nowhere to someone trying to kidnap you, these life hacks will give you the best chance of survival. So make sure you like the video and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I'll try to reply. So, coming in at number 10, we have extra battery. We all know how annoying it is when one of our electronics, like a flashlight, runs out of AA batteries, especially when you only have AAA batteries. Well, with this hack, you'll be able to transform your AAA batteries into AA batteries. All you need to do is insert the AAA batteries into the battery slots, like you would do if they were AA batteries, and then use aluminum foil to create small balls or squares, and simply place them in the gaps between the AAA batteries and the battery connectors. The metal in the aluminum foil will allow you to carry the electric charge over, enabling you to use AAA batteries in a AA battery operated product. This could save your life if you're lost in the woods or your car breaks down and you need a flashlight or other electronic. And if you don't like the outdoors much, it could come in handy if you can't find any spare batteries for your TV remote. Next up is cut things with cigarettes. Imagine if you were stranded in the woods and needed to cut kindling for a fire. Or if you're getting attacked or kidnapped and you need a weapon for self-defense. Well, in these scenarios, a cigarette can come in handy. All you need to do is take a cigarette and light the filter with a cigarette lighter or matches. Let it burn for a second or two, then lick your fingers to wet them and squash the filter down to make a flat end to the cigarette. And this will make the filter razor sharp and you can cut pretty much anything. But this one can be dangerous as the cigarette becomes incredibly sharp. So just be sure not to use this if you're really clumsy. Next up is clean any water. Picture this, you're stranded in an area and you need water as you're getting dehydrated. But you've already drank all the Voss water and now the only water available is dirty water from a nearby lake or puddle. Well, you shouldn't drink this as the dirt and particles can get stuck in your lungs and throat and make you sick. And of course, the germs are also likely to harm you. Well, all you need to filter any water is two containers and a cloth. Scoop or cup with your hands the available water into the first container and then put a cloth over the second container. Then pour the water into the first container over the cloth that's on top of the second container. And all of the dirt will get trapped in the cloth and the clean water will drip through into the second container. See, you don't need one of those fancy water bottle filters to survive in the wild. Next up, we have escape a sinking car. If you ever get into a car accident that involves your car falling into a lake or pond, then you obviously need to get out of your car as soon as possible. But one mistake that hundreds of people in this situation make is trying to open the car door normally. The water pressure will prevent you from doing this no matter how strong you are. And this can sometimes be fatal if you waste too much time trying. What you should actually do is take a metal seatbelt buckle and hit the car window as hard as you can with it. You can also use things that might be lying around your car like knives and wrenches. This method is best because the the water's pressure actually helps the window to break, allowing you to escape the car and float to the water surface. Next up we have emergency phone charger. If you get stranded on a highway after your car breaks down and your cell phone's out of battery, it may sound like you're screwed, but don't be too negative so fast. Plug your cell phone into your car charger and touch the end of the charger's plug onto the positive side of a 9 volt battery, and then place a key on the negative side of the battery, and your cell phone will start to charge up. This trick will charge your phone up enough to make important calls to break down and emergency services, but this hack probably won't charge your phone to 100%, so no messing around playing Clash of Clans, even if you're fortunate did get attacked. Next up is escape being tied up. It's a situation we all hope and probably believe will never happen, but over 200,000 people are kidnapped every year in the United States alone. And one of the main methods that kidnappers use to keep people in place and not escape is to tie their hands. But there's a really simple method which many magicians use to avoid being tied up to complete magic tricks, and you can use it too in order to prevent being tied up should you ever get kidnapped. All you have to do is clench your fists tightly to expand the muscles in your wrists. And then when you're being tied up, this will make your hands larger, causing the rope or zip tie to be much less tight around your hands. Then you should be able to wriggle out of the rope or zip tie and untie your feet and anywhere else you might be tied up, and then finally make your great escape. This works best if you have veiny or muscular hands to begin with, as the change will be more significant. But this will work for pretty much anyone. Next up, we have used snacks for fire. So while snacks are great for survival if you need food, sometimes you need to make sacrifices to survive. And if you're in a cold environment at night, a fire is sometimes even more important than food. If you have firewood but no tinder, you can use snacks instead. The high calorie count of snack food such as potato chips help to keep the food burning for a long time, giving it a better chance to catch onto your firewood. Bags of chips can be burned along with cereal and ramen noodles. Ramen noodles are soaked in oil, meaning they burn well and slowly, which is ideal for fire starting. So, Next time you find yourself with food but no fire, then try this out and have warmth and a nice smell of ramen noodle smoke in the air. 
Next up, we have car keys. This is another really simple tip that you can use for self-defense. If you are ever being attacked, kidnapped, or just walking through a bad neighborhood, then it's often thought that it's best to put your keys in between your fingers to make a brass knuckle out of keys. But this can often be ineffective as the keys will slip out of your hands when they hit someone. What you should actually do is place the keys in one line and use your palm to keep them in place. This will create a support for the keys and make any jabs more firm and effective. It may look less scary, but it works a lot better. And you have a greater chance of hurting the mugger or attacker and saving yourself. Next up is hidden money. Nowadays, if you go into a store to buy something, you'll use a credit card or maybe even a service like Apple Pay or Square. And because of this, most people don't carry cash. And in some emergency situations, this can prove inconvenient. Like getting a cab home after a car breakdown or paying for use of a public phone. And as I said, most people don't carry cash and can't access these things. But one thing that everyone carries around with them is a cell phone. So next time you go out, slip a $20 bill or more if you want to be safe into the space between your phone and phone case. And then then you can keep your mind at peace knowing you'll always have the resources to get home safely. And because it's tucked within your phone case, it's less likely to get stolen or lost. And finally, we have crayon candles. If you're ever out camping and have no flashlight, or maybe you're in your home during a power outage but you don't have any candles, then you might think you'll be sitting in the darkness for a few hours. Well, if you have a few crayons lying around, then you can actually use these as candles. Crayons are made with wax, which is the same thing candles are made from, and because of this, they will continue to burn for long periods of time if you light them. They may not be great for a fancy dinner date, but they'll keep your home lit for at least half an hour if your power ever shuts off. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for the best life hack. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.